that shall launch you into the next level of your spiritual growth and development. It is a word that you have been waiting on. It is a word that you have anticipated. It is a word that will sustain you and Amen. keep you and mold you Hallelujah. and shape you. Amen. Hallelujah to the King. Amen. Thank you. Bless your name, Jesus. Amen. We thank God for the word. Yes. We want you to take your forefinger, point it directly to me, and then we want you to put a crook in your elbow and point the same finger toward yourself. And I want you to tell yourself, this word is for me. This, this word, word is for me. me. Amen. This word is for me. This word is for me. Now I want you to speak to your neighbor. And I want you to tell your neighbor that this word is for you. This word is for you. I say this word is for you. I say this word is for you. This is the word you've been waiting on. This is the word you've been waiting on. This is the word you've been anticipating. This is the word you've been anticipating. This is the word you've been yearning for. This is the word you've been yearning for. This is the word that you need. This is the word that you need. Give God glory. Bless the name of Jesus. Our foundational scriptures have to. The first one is in the Old Testament, in the book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes, in the Old Testament. It says the words of the preacher, the son of David king in Jerusalem, none other than Solomon. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 11. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 11. Our second foundational scripture is in the New Testament. In the book of Romans, chapter 9, verses 14 through 18. Romans, chapter 9, verses 14 through 18. Now, Ecclesiastes, we'll, we will read from the New King James Version of the Bible. And later on, I will read. Romans chapter 9, verses 14 through 18 from the Amplified Bible. Amen? So we are going to read Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 11. And I just want you to, you know how you marinate meat? I want you just to allow this word to marinate in your spirit. Ready, read. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor bread to the wise, nor riches to men of understanding, nor favor to men of skill, but time and chance happen to them all. Amen. 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 What a word. What a word. What a word. Just let it marinate. Let it marinate. Let that word marinate in your spirit. Because of this truth that we have just read together, we are called by God in this hour to press on. Say press on. Press on. 
Press on. Press on. Press on. You know, that's one of my watch words is press on. <laughs> press on. Amen. Press on. Every day we should speak that word to ourselves. Press on. When you leave here, you ought to get on your telephone and call somebody. Get on your cell phone, send an email, and say press on. Because somebody has thought about giving up. Even in this house, Amen. someone has thought about giving up. Someone has thought about just throwing in the towel and throwing up the hand and say, I can't take it anymore. But the word of God is coming to us in this hour, encouraging our very soul and telling us and commanding us to press on. Press on. Press on. No matter what it looks like. The Lord is telling us in this hour to take our eyes off the things. Take our eyes off what it looks like. Stop speaking doom and gloom into our lives and saying it's so bad, it's so ugly, and I just can't stand it. But shake yourself and say, press on. Press on. Press on. Press on. Press on. Even when you feel like you don't want to press on, you ought to be saying, press on. And I submit to you as you begin to speak to yourself and encourage yourself and shake yourself and say, press on, you'll find yourself pressing forward. Amen. 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 Awesome word. This word reminds us that we can win any race. <laughs> we can win. Even if it seems like other runners can run faster than us. You remember the story about the, what was it, the tortoise and the hare? You remember that from, from preschool and nursery school? You remember that? Little children say, yes, they remember that. Now, the rabbit may have, um, you know, people may have just bet money on the rabbit. So, well, the, the rabbit can can run. The, the rabbit is fast. The rabbit can hop faster. But the tortoise just kept plugging on, just kept plugging on. In other words, just kept pressing on to the mark, kept pressing on toward the finish line. Because those who can run fast, sometimes they begin to become very comfortable in their own selves. And they end up taking their eyes off the finish line, off the goal, and they lose out. This word, this word, people of God, reminds us that we can win any race. We can win any race, even if others can run faster than us. The word reminds us that we can win the battle. We can win the battle. Whatever fight that we're in, we can win that fight. We can win that battle even if the enemy is stronger than us. Amen. This word says, nor the battle to the strong. Yes. Amen. That's what the word says. Amen. Not what Wilma said, Amen. but this is what the word yes. says. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, when we get the word in our spirit, that word is going to strengthen us. In the time of weakness. This word reminds us, people of God, that we can possess bread to eat. Even if someone else is wiser than we are. Amen. Because my Bible tells me, nor bread to the wise. Don't matter how much intelligence you have. Amen. That doesn't mean that everything is going to be yours. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. It doesn't matter if I'm not smarter than somebody else. Amen. The Lord is still going to make it possible for me to put bread on my table. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Press on, people of God. Amen. Oh, we bless him. We bless him. The word reminds us that we can possess the riches of the land, even if our understanding is limited. Hmm. 
the word says.